Clause 4.2, ISO 27001. In a previous video clip, Vincent would have taken you through Clause 4.2 relevant to ISO 9001. Um, I guess this brief clip is just a moment to take a look at it from a perspective of information security and privacy, PII, which is more relevant to EU GDPR and to 27701 standard. So in relation to understanding the needs and expectations of interested parties, Vincent would have given you a good overview of the requirements for considering applicable legislation and so on. I guess we would always give our customers um, a strong recommendation to consider the relationships with interested parties, such as regulators, but in particular, um, third parties, customers and suppliers, where they would, on the supply side, maybe you would be asking them to process a lot of data on your behalf, or regardless of the size of the data or the volume of data, and maybe some of the data you're transferring to them is sensitive. On the customer side, I guess, notwithstanding the need for you to consider the data that customers are asking you to process as you carry out your work, um, I guess really the, the big emphasis for me is to look at legislation that's very particular to your customer's business and the nature of their work. Because a requirement of GDPR by itself and in addition to that requirements with regard to other applicable legislation such as in the financial services sector you know the need to manage under the authority of the central bank may extend to you as a third party where you're providing a service into your customer so i guess this brief video clip is really about looking at number one who are these interested parties make sure you consider regulators make sure you consider your customers and your suppliers and everybody else uh, in, and on the supply side in particular subcontractors where you're asking them to do work on your behalf. I guess when it comes to needs and expectations um, I'll just refer you to our ISO FAQ section there's good coverage of this under the context of the organization and um, category. I guess um, what we're looking at here is you know, samples of needs and expectations with regard to these information security applicable interested parties. Um, just looking to my right on the screen on the website, we say requirements can include data protection agreements, non-disclosure agreements, and data protection impact assessments. So I guess a couple of things to think of. You know, your sales team or whoever it is looks after that first initial engagement with a prospect client or customer. They're the people who are best placed to establish the type of data that you're gathering from your customer um, in order to put together a decent proposal, you know, very specific to the needs. So, you know, professional services organizations, uh, people who carry out bespoke training and bespoke work on behalf of clients, they will need to establish upfront what are the requirements with regard to the data that they're managing? I guess the other consideration has to be, is there a need to use the standard contractual clauses or model clauses in a data protection agreement? This would be a requirement that would arise out of considering the needs and expectations of interested parties. So service level agreements might be one from a, a qualitative or a 9001 perspective. But in relation to GDPR, we have a, an obligation to consider what data are we, are we bringing in? Um, we have to categorize the data. We've got to determine all of the requirements with regard to consent and um, where it's going to be stored and all of that, that kind of stuff. So th this is the nature of the business we're in. And this is the nature of GDPR. And by extension, this is the expectation of an auditor coming in to assess for ISO 27001 with the extended criteria for ISO 27701. So a word of note that interested parties relevant to information security can include regulators and certainly must include the data subject themselves, the people who are identified by the data. 
that's it for now. Um, ISO FAQ on the enableiso.com website. Take care. That's it for now.